Right. So I uh, want to just share some thoughts with you uh, real quick. Uh, working on a new project now behind my uh, PC here and uh, sort of decided to just jump on the video and then share some thought with you as you uh, position yourself uh, in the scope of how things are going generally. Now, one of the things going on generally now is, hey, I mean, the economy, it's uh, had, the economy becomes, things are becoming more challenging and all of those things. And uh, yeah, people keep talking about it. People keep uh, sharing their thoughts and uh, saying a couple of things and a lot of things about it. But you see, uh, you need to also understand that in the midst of all these, uh, there are people who are uh, building mansions. There are people who are getting married. There are people who are living their dreams. There are people who are traveling around the world. And most importantly, there are people who are really impacting the world and becoming successful uh, in what they want to do and what they want to become generally at the end of the day. So the question is, okay, how is it that we are in the same economy, we are the same people, we have the same uh, brain, the same mindset, the same head, the same eyes, but then some people are up there and others are below. Why? What is the reason? What's the purpose for that? Now, a number of things must come into your head or must come on your brain or must come uh, <laughs> To you, if you want to uh, really think about it, basically. So instead of you sitting down and be thinking about, hey, this economy is hard, uh, prices of things are going up, and trying to cut expenditures, what you need to understand is you need to increase your income. You don't become successful by cutting expenditures and reducing and trying to live below your means or whatever the heck it is. The only problem you have and the solution to your problem is to be able to increase your income. If you can increase your income to make more money, boom, you will definitely become successful. Now, so that is where somebody will ask, Shira, how can I increase my income? I work, go to work, uh, I work nine to five. I go to, uh, I close and I go, I go home and I'm tired. How can I uh, increase my income? You need to find a way to increase your income. Now, I could share some thoughts with you or some uh, things with you but then uh, in another video. But, but what I want to share with you is that you need to sit down and ask yourself, how can I increase my income? If your salary is fixed and the inflation rate keeps rising, note that you cannot live the life you want to live. If you are putting your mind on pension, that, oh, I'm paying my pension, and then if I go on pension, pension will take care of me, you're going to be screwed 99.9% .9 of the time. So you need to take your life into your own hand and find out how can I increase my income, how can I double my hustle, and most importantly, how can I become more successful to live my life. Because if you keep complaining, yeah, prices of things are going up everywhere, um, Fuel prices are going up. Uh, things are really going up across the world, in Ghana here and everywhere. But the most important thing you got to ask yourself is, how can I still live my life? Because, you see, wealth creation is not about the amount you have in your bank account or how much you make. Wealth creation, it's a mindset. L let, me, let me explain that to you. Wealth creation... It's a mindset. You see, the difference between the rich and the poor is that, you see, the, 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 the rich or the wealthy people understand the value of money and they understand the value of time. So let me give you some example. Somebody will be like, hey, uh, I'm going to work. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, Trotsky or Trotro or whatever the heck. And uh, to take the Trotro, they would have to work, walk about uh, maybe 500 meters to the station that is from their home to the station. They have to walk to the station. Then they will be in a queue for a long time. Then the vehicle come. They will jump, 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 jump into the vehicle. The vehicle will be stopping, will be stopping, will be stopping, will be stopping. Then eventually they get to the office. When they're close in the evening also, they walk from the office back to the station Come and be, be standing in queues and then uh, take the vehicle and go back home. Now, if you think about that carefully, you realize that maybe the truck show that they take is charging, whatever, let's say 3 CD 50 pesos. But they could have picked a taxi 
for the same distance, and the taxi would have charged maybe four CD or four CD 50 pesos. Now, the poor person will look at it and say, hey, I'm saving 50 pesos. I'm saving 50 pesos. Listen, you can't save 50 pesos and become wealthy. You cannot save. You see, a penny save is still a penny. As a matter of fact, a penny save is less than a penny because of inflation. So if you're thinking about, oh, I'm saving, oh, it's a uh, taxi would take four CD, but a trotter takes three CD, 50 pesos. So I am saving. How can you save 50 pesos and be wealthy? You've been saving that for the entire, for, for, for over a number of years now. How much do you have in your account so far? But look at the flip side. A wealthy person, somebody with a, with a rich mindset, will be like, okay, I'm going to go to work. Taxi is four city or it's four city 50 pesos. Okay, that helps me to be able to get to work on time. That helps me to be able to buy some time so that when I get to work on time, even before I start working officially, I could be studying something because I'm preparing for an exams. I could be studying something or better still, I could be writing something or checking on something important in that way. When they close from work, another taxi back home and they save time. So the rich redeem time and find out how they can uh, buy back as much time as possible, but the poor waste time and think that they are saving money. That's the difference. You cannot become successful by saving 50 pesos, by saving one Ghana cities. You cannot become successful. Show me anybody who became wealthy doing that dumb thing. You need to find out how can I increase my income. And the way you increase your income is to change your mindset. And the way you change your mindset is to look at life from a different perspective. And the only way you look at life from a different perspective is to come out of the shelves that you've been in all your life. That's it. That's how you become successful. That's how you become wealthy. That's how you're able to achieve your goals. So while somebody is thinking, oh, the economy is hard. Oh, the economy is hard. The economy is hard. Another person else is building wealth. I, I share a story with this with my students a lot. And I'm like, yo, especially the women or the ladies. Somebody will be like, yo, Ishira, I got to wash on Saturday. And then Saturday, I have to start washing from in the morning, maybe from 6 to I will wash since this morning, 6 to 9 to in the evening, 3 or 4 p.m. And by the time I finish washing, I'm tired. On Sunday, too, I have to iron all of the things that I have washed. And then I don't even get time for myself and everything. Then I'm like, why do you punish yourself like that? Who does that? Why do you punish yourself? Why not employ somebody to assist you in your laundry? Okay, maybe you don't want to take your things to the laundry. I mean, I don't know, one of the dumbest things people do. I mean, they don't want to take their things to the laundry. I, 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 well, I, I had somebody, spoke with somebody, and the person like, oh, if I, if I, 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 I wear my clothing, uh, when I, I, take their clothing, I took their clothing to the laundry one time, and when I wore it, like I didn't feel, I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Poverty has, has, has made your, your mind not to think well. It's poverty. So why not employ somebody to assist you in the washing? So that instead of washing from 7 to 3 p.m., somebody assists you, washes with you. You can get a lot of people to do that. Then you pay the person 50 Ghana cities. Or then you engage somebody. For the, for the ironing, maybe you don't want to take your things to laundry. You can get some people come to your house to come and do this for you. Then you buy time. You don't go through that stress. Your back, your, 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 you don't go through all that stress. Then you get time for yourself to study, advance yourself, and add value to yourself. That is wealth. That's how you become successful. How can you be cooking every day, washing from morning to evening, ironing from morning to evening and still become successful. You, you will die. You will die. And guess what? You will definitely become poor at the end of the day. 
So I want you to change the way you think. I want you to change the way you look at things. I want you to change the way you see things. And I want you to change the way you see life. Yes, the economy is difficult. But you need to find out, how can I make more money? How can I become more successful? And the only way is increase your value in the marketplace. And the only way you can increase your value in the marketplace is to stop doing dumb stuff. Stop walking if you have to take a vehicle. Stop being in the trotro that delays time and take uh, a taxi. Stop doing your own laundry and take the things to someone else to do. And buy back time so you can focus on the things that are most important to you. That's how you become successful. Now, I know some of you are going to say, hey, Shira, you don't understand. You don't understand. Please. Poverty is in the mind. Wealth is in the mind. The difference between you and I, it's not anything. It's mindset. I see life differently. Okay? The rich don't look at money. They look at value. That is where the rich don't say, oh, this is expensive. No. They look at value. So, for instance, you are flying. Let's say you are flying. Yeah, you will go for t- to economy. Yeah. Normal. You know, Bomo, like, like normal traveling. Okay, maybe that is $300. That's okay. Someone will fly first class. Right. That may be $4,000. $5,000. Or maybe $2,500. We don't know. Depending on the distance. So it could be five times, six times, how much is paid in economy. You will say that it's expensive. Oh, we will all sit in the plane and so we will all get to our destination. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't understand first class. You see, your, your, your poverty mindset has made you the way you are and you will continue to be poor. You see, the person who, who, who flies in first class flies in first class because of the benefits that are available, the relaxation you can have, the treatment you can have, the kind of people that you may even meet in the first class lounge, lounge or something like that, is a different thing. It's a different environment. It's a different group of people. So the wealthy don't look at the price. They look at the value. What do I get? You are comfortable in your own uh, cabin. You eat the, the best food. You sleep well. You can go freshen up. I mean, you are treated well. Like I said, you meet a different set of people, high class of people. And people have made millions of dollars, have signed millions of dollars of contract because of a first class trip or a business class trip. That's the difference between the rich and the poor. The poor look at price, the rich look at the value. So if you want to really come out of the shells of poverty, you want to really become the person you want to become, you want to thrive in this economy and still become successful, then it is time for you to change the way you think. I'm not saying go redraw your money and start spending and, and, and doing everything. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you that identify and distinguish between price and value and find out what it is that you need to do in order to increase your value in the marketplace so that you can make more money. Because I can guarantee you, this economy we are in, people are rich. People are making millions and billions even though everybody else is crying. And if you want to be the, in the top 1%, you want to enjoy life on your own terms. You want to live where you want to live. You want to achieve your goals. You want your children to be where you want them to be. You have a lot of pictures in your house relating to your ideal life, your dream life. If you want to achieve that dream, you need to change this thing. It is that that can assist you in order for you to become successful. Comment in the chat box. In the next video, I'm going to be sharing with you some things that you can do in order for you to increase your income and make more money so you can achieve your goals. Because it is not about savings and cutting expenditures. It's about finding out how can I make more money and increase my value in the marketplace. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification icon and leave a comment on what you think 
about this discussion. I want to hear from you. Let's continue with the discussion in the comments. I'll catch you again.